welcome to After Date Night Dessert with Michelle, Doug, and me, Joel. <laughs> so we are filming a special video today to thank you, our 100 and I think 8 subscribers now. Yeah. Thank you so much for helping us achieve our first milestone. So we want to thank you all with a special dessert video. So Joel's going to be helping us out today. He's cooking for his girlfriend, I'll Marlene. Be eating. And he's going to be eating it as well. So he is cooking for her. He's wanting to do something special. So we're going to help him out with that. On tonight's menu, we are making chocolates fig protein bites. Now I know what you're thinking. What the heck is that? <laughs> Trust me, it's gonna be good. It's a guilt-free dessert that's full of chocolate. It's gonna be bitter, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be smooth, it's gonna be all those things in a little bite-sized portion. So babe, what's actually good about this? Well, we know that a way to woman's heart is chocolate. So we're using some dark chocolate cocoa powder um, to coat our protein bites. And we know that chocolate has a lot of antioxidants and that's to help protect your cells. Um, also, this recipe is very, very high protein. We wanna make sure that she feels full, right, Joel? Yeah. She feels full after she has your dinner and your dessert, of course. And in order to do that, you wanna give her protein. We don't wanna fill her up with any fatty things, um, no carbohydrates or fat. She wants to look good in her clothing, you know, she wants to feel. <laughs> Like she's beautiful and she is. she is. So in order to make you feel full, we're gonna add some protein. We're gonna add protein through Greek yogurt. We're gonna add protein through cashews and also through chia seeds. So it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be kind of sexy and it's gonna be really fun. Okay. Let's <laughs> it. Okay. Let's go. go. All right. It's time to make dessert. Honestly, dessert's my favorite part of the meal. I don't know about you guys, and but I will literally <laughs> stop eating so I can eat dessert. So we are making our chocolate and fig protein bites. We have about a cup of cashews in here, raw cashews. We have a cup of our figs, dried figs. We got about half a cup of our non-fat Greek yogurt, about a quarter cup of chia seeds, and then we got about a half a cup of almond meal. Um, and then we're just gonna throw everything in together. So this is actually pretty easy for when Marlon comes over because she's gonna look at it and be like, oh, this looks so amazing, how'd you do it? But we'll just put it in. Does she like chocolate? She loves chocolate. Dark chocolate. We're using dark chocolate. We are using dark chocolate. That's her favorite. That's straight up her favorite. Nice. My thing is like, what woman doesn't love chocolate? Yeah, it's chocolate. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna get lots of comments. Of women that don't love chocolate. You're gonna read the comment section lately on this. Sweet, sweet chocolate. <laughs> I always hate it. <laughs> I think she's gonna love this. I'm excited. And like I said, it's a girlfriend dessert. So she'll still get that chocolatey feel that she's looking for. Now we got our mixture onto our um, cutting board and we're just gonna take it and roll it into little balls. I know it doesn't look appetizing right now, but I promise it tastes really, really good. And it is gonna look appetizing, I promise, once we're done. So let's just all dig in with clean hands and just so start. So on my finger. <laughs> we'll see if this ends up here. Oh, ew. Oh, that's gross. Yours will be perfectly fine. So you see something like this, they kind of like, Come into like a little ball. Oh, it's a little meatball. Right. And nice then, chunky. Yeah, like a little meatball. And then we got some um, unsweetened cocoa powder in here. We're just gonna roll it in the unsweetened cocoa powder. Right? Then it looks a little bit like this. So those are our chocolate bites. So we're just gonna put them in here. So we have our protein bites ready. We're just gonna add some pumpkin pie spice because why not? We're doing it fall style, so we just gotta add it in. It smells really, really good. All right, we've got our chocolate fig protein bites and Joel is super small. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I like these bites. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, let's let's try these. Let's see how they taste. Let's go. Oof. Guys, we just finished the dinner and it was so good. We just mm. had food. We'll tell you more about that. Let's 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 try these. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, put the whole thing in there. Mmm. No. Whoa. It was really good. That was in the beginning, <laughs> I got a little thrown off because the chocolate it's, it's bitter, right? It's unsweetened. Mm -hmm. But then when you bite into the fig, that's where the explosive and the sweetness and sugar comes in. So you still get that bitter yet sweet kind of taste that you're looking for um, without all the guilt. This is really, really good. Like crunchy too. It's very mm. yeah, <laughs> it's like a soft crunchy. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Would Marlon go for this? I think so. I feel like she, she likes dark chocolate and it has that bitter taste that mm -hmm. dark chocolate has at first. But only for like a second. Like when I first bit it, like something fell on me and I was like... <laughs> then after I kept going, I was like, wait, hold on. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it kind of catches you off guard, but... Mm. It's perfect. And I think when food hits you like that in different layers, then you know you did something good. You know, you want to kind of get that different layer component of it. So I think we did a great job. I think Marlon's going to love it. You're watching a two-part video series. So we actually just shot uh, a whole dinner recipe over at Joel's channel. You can check that out there. Um, we we ate an apple stuffed chicken with Gruyere, with sweet mashed potato, and Brussels sprouts. How, how was that? Mm. Mm, the Brussels sprouts were roasted. No. Delicious. No, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what blessed the Brussels sprouts, but whatever they produced in there with the chicken, like they gotta go back in there and do it again because it was so good, so juicy, the, the flavor, and we just put oil and, and salt. That's yeah, it. That was it. Super simple recipe. And I think it was like all of our favorites on the plate. Yeah, so it was good. <laughs> it was really so good. good. It was fall, scissor kicking you in the face. <laughs> so That's good. Good. It was so good. You guys should check it out. So check out Joel's channel, the link is down below. Click the subscribe button. We just hit 100 subscribers. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Our next goal is to hit 1,000, so let's definitely get there together. So hit subscribe, share the video, like, leave a comment, let us know what you want to see next. Yeah, and definitely tag us if you make one of our recipes. Um, we'd love to see that. It really makes us feel really, really good. So yeah. hope to see you next time. Dana, Michelle, and Doug. Yeah, Bye. see you next week.